What's up, everybody? Welcome to day mm, 236, making Songbringer. And uh, today is part three of Infinity marketing the game. And I say Infinity because, well, your job's never done. You know, I, I've got, I've spent nearly, I think nearly two weeks now just marketing this alpha version. Has it been two weeks? Ten days, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know at this point. So but there's still stuff on my list to do. But I've gotten most of the important things done. So um, for you all, for you all watching this on YouTube and stuff, I got, uh, well, the Steam page is done. That's freaking awesome. This was really felt really good to get this all set up, get some updates, write a cool description for it and all that. So that's awesome. And then there's also the community page. So this community page is all, you know, is, is going now. Um, and, you know, some updates in here, videos, pictures and stuff like that. So just kind of, you know, create some discussion about the game. Be open to discussion from people too. That's cool. Um, the website's been updated. So I think it's a lot more easy to to navigate and find, you know, what you're going to be looking for too. Before it had some really small links and everything was kind of um, just crammed in on this site. So um, I really like this new site, but also, you know, I'm open to feedback. So uh, today I'm going to be working on <clears throat> spiffing up the Tig Source page. The Tig Source page is you know, a little out of, out of date. These gra these gifts are really old, uh, so I want to do some some newer gifts and um, uh, you know update this text a little bit too. And if there's time, I will also get to doing IndieDB.com as well today. So and that will pretty much mark the finish point for now of marketing the alpha version that I can't do anymore. I've literally have to go start developing tomorrow or else I will literally go crazy. So, you know, it's figurative and literal burnout at this point. So yeah, got to do, got to get some good rest. Got to take a little break. Probably I might not even stream this weekend. I don't know. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, next week I'll have a nice fresh start. Be able to do some really rad stuff. I've got some great ideas, some cool abilities the character is gonna have. Rock's gonna have these like you know ability to do a dash attack, um, like a charge type attack, uh, a dodge roll, and also an invincibility type shield thing. So, and I'm thinking maybe the player will even have the choice of what they choose to uh, power up. Marza, what's up, man? So yeah, okay, so let's dive right into it. I'm just gonna start updating the graphics here for the Tig Source page. Yeah, yeah, rest is always good, right? Whenever you get to that point in your project, yeah, you gotta get some rest. That's a big lesson, right? Especially, you know, Pito, what's up, man? Ekloff, yo, what's up, you guys? Pedro, yo! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, it's something I, I have to learn, right? I have to get, I have to learn this lesson because I always work myself to the point of burnout in any project I ever work on, and I don't know. I don't think it's very productive once you're at the point where you are burnt out. Jonah, what's up, man? Um, you're not as, you're not being as effective with your time. You know, if you're burnt out, you get like half as much done. It's half the quality too. Like, you know, even something as simple as sending an email can be like excruciatingly hard when you're burnt out. You're like, oh my God, what am I going to say? What are they thinking about what I'm saying? You know, you, there's so many little things like that. So anyways, rest is critical and it's something I got to get more of. So like I'm saying, I might take the rest of the weekend off. I don't know. I might, I might stream a little bit this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. Solar Flare, what's up, man? Cool, yeah, I know, right? TM Game Dev. Yeah, yeah. You're looking back over it? Yeah, and what's crazy is I've never really gotten that burnt out so far in this project. It's just this, la this last release, I guess it was so many, so many bugs. 
I was literally like working on bugs for like nearly two weeks, I think. And then now, like once again, I'm working on marketing for a whole like 10 days in a row. So it's like, it's easy to get burnt out. So if anybody's watching these streams, you're learning about game development or whatever, definitely, you know, take the time to rest during a project. Even if it's a moment where you, it feels like almost critical that you finish your work or whatever, it might actually be better to take that rest and get some better work done after you take your rest. So, ah, huh. Why do you feel greedy for asking for help funding the game and then still charging for it? Aren't you aren't you going to give people free copies of the game that support you on Kickstarter? Oh man. Damn, and you're on Google Fiber? I wonder if I don't let's see if it's my fault. OBS sometimes has drop frames. It looks okay today. Looks okay. It might be just Twitch. I'm going to go ahead and say it's Twitch, as always. I like blaming Twitch. I like blaming anybody but everybody myself. And Twitch and Microsoft are my two favorite things to blame. <laughs> why does it... So why why does it feel weird to you? Man, it's crazy. I know, it's been, it's been like this for a while. Ah. Except, except sometimes. Except when it runs well. So okay, uh, yeah. So today's first thing I'm gonna do is um, update this thread. Where the hell is the modify button? Oh here. Yeah. Right. So we need some good, some updated graphics. So actually, I do want to see this website open while we're. Tig source, song bringer. Oh, you're giving away the game for free? Huh. No, you're, oh, you're said you're still charging for it. Well, Akuma, man, I'm, I'm here to listen, here to try and help with any thoughts I have. Um, I think it's running a Kickstarter is a very, very, it can be very, very valuable. You can gain followers. You can, you're putting your word out there. You're going to get articles written about your game. It's not just about the money. So I don't know if you, if you're feeling weird, maybe you just need to find a way to reward the people better that are going to be donating their money to, to your, or pledging their money to your cause, you know, get them some good rewards so you don't feel weird about it. That's my suggestion. And you also got to make sure you're at the right point that you're ready for a Kickstarter, you know? You have to have a good enough prototype of your game that you're going to be able to create a dope video. So if you're not that far, and you don't have, if you don't have a following for the game at this point at all, you shouldn't start until you at least have a following and a prototype. That's my advice. So, okay, first of all, this GIF right here. I got a newer version of this picking up the sword thing. So let's grab, let's get that uploaded to Giphy. I don't think I put it on Giphy yet. This thing's called Songbringer Sword 3B, I believe. Yeah, 3B is the little thinner version. So 3 megs. Yeah, this is kind of like a longer, nicer, thinner version of it all. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. This might be too small. Hmm. Well, it sounds like you might just need to do some soul searching or whatever and figure it out. You know, I, I highly recommend running a Kickstarter for your project because it's not just about the money. You know, it's about publicizing your game well and letting the letting the whole world know about it. And Kickstarter is one of those places where you put your project on there and the whole world finds out almost. You know, it's like the whole game world, at least, is kind of paying attention to Kickstarter right now. 
and also Steam Greenlight. You know, those are two great places. But uh, anyways, man, if you have any more thoughts on it or whatever, if you if you like, you know, some days go by, you digest the thoughts, you start figuring it out. Feel free to share. You know, I'd love to love to help, especially regarding Kickstarters. I guess because my experience on Kickstarter was just so awesome. I really want that for everyone else too to have that kind of awesome experience. Oh, cool. Rad. Okay, so each one of these GIFs and images on on this site here, I think these are all 690 wide. I'm gonna check it out though. Yeah, 690, cool. All right, so let's make this one 690. Well, I hope my hope my computer doesn't crash again today. My computer crashed during yesterday's last stream, and it's been doing this again today. Where like if I'm on if I'm on a lot on Safari, I've opened a lot of YouTube windows and stuff like that. Safari just hangs, and then it it crashes my whole computer. And this time I get to blame Apple. Usually Apple does a good job of everything, but this one, they ain't doing such a good job. This is kind of big. This is really big, six and a half megs. Uh-huh, cool. What's up, hentai? Welcome to the stream, man. I'm working on marketing. This is my, this is my last day of working on marketing for this alpha release. And I, I've got everything, um, everything is looking a lot better. The Steam page is done. Check it out. Yeah, a few people here on the stream have got the alpha. Um, so there's that, and there's also the community hub. That started getting updated. So I'm, you know, I'm proud of, I'm proud of all this marketing work because this is like days and days and days. You know, each one of these pages, I spent like a, a good day just kind of getting it going or whatever. So, but anyways, also the songbringer.com has been updated. Uh, and everybody that's in the stream, I'd love to get your thoughts on any of this. If you guys, if you guys see something, you're like, oh, this could be better, that could be better, whatever. Let me know. Um, so now I'm updating the TIG source forum. And, oh, also there's uh, there's the press kit. The press kit got updated too. So those are these are kind of my most important works here. You can't vote. Oh, hentai, just feedback. If you if you have any thoughts or whatever, um, that'd be great. Yeah, Solar Flare Let's Plays. Um, I just today emailed like another, another like about twenty, a uh, twenty different YouTubers, um, with with this with steam keys and stuff like that so um there should be some good some good uh, let's plays coming out soon i asked everyone you know that i emailed to to write me once they release a video so hopefully i find some good ones this time uh however this is kind of more of a minor push on the marketing end of things so the beta version is going to be the big push and then release is going to be the biggest of all so um so yeah, I was just asking if, if you guys have any thoughts on these on these websites, any of these things I just paste or whatever. Um, I'd love to get any of your thoughts. All right, let's just let's just bite the bullet and do a six and a half meg GIF on this one.
Maybe I'll reduce the amount of GIFs on here. Maybe I'll do like only two or three animated GIFs on this first uh, first page. What up, Boogie? How you doing, man? Welcome to day three of infinity making, doing marketing. Making, doing marketing. Uh, all right, man. Cool. Thanks, coin. Turticus, what's up, man? Yep, so right now I'm working on this uh, TigSource uh, forum page. I'm thinking in general I'm going to add just maybe one or two GIFs to this very first page and then mostly focus on screenshots after that and then get this get the updated description in there and we'll, we'll be good to go for this. So let's grab this new GIF. I kind of like this one right here. Yeah, so even though these other ones are kind of cool, I'm actually going to have to let go of them. Got to let go. Got to get some new stuff up. I wonder if you could do tables on here. Cuz I want to do I want to do some screenshots. Let's just get one more GIF up here though. What GIF would I do? Let's see. Go through the latest GIFs that have been on here. I'd like to do something where they're fighting. That'd be cool. This one's just crazy mayhem. <laughs> I kind of like this one. This one's really cool. That one's cool. Eh, maybe we'll do this one and the other mayhem one. These are both great. Yeah, this Mayhem one. Cool, let's get a GIF of that.
So if I crop it to about there, see how we look. Not bad, not bad. We got half a screen here. Half a screen of BC Warriors. Dang, he gets to the top of the screen there, so that kind of doesn't work. <laughs> You're bored. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, we got to wait for the right moment to do the PC Warrior. Got to wait for that right moment, the perfect moment. Where there's enough people on that we can pull it off. <laughs> Fail fish. Oh. All right, good enough. He looks kind of weird in pink, but that's all right. Mayhem, mayhem it is. Upload this one. Yeah, I'm thinking three GIFs and some screenshots. Let's upload another. <laughs> yeah you will man you will try that or clash of clans is clash of clans still the freaking number one selling app on the app store i guess i'm just jealous Ooh, it squished it but oh well it should look all right Let's get this one on there. Yeah, it is. Good for them, good for them. Is Candy Crush still up there too? Oh, yeah. I'm just kind of jealous because I notice, I notice myself always kind of gripe at the fact that I say, are they still at the top of the store or whatever? So, you know, it's my own thing. I guess I'm just a little jealous that they've done, they've done so well with such a simple game. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing, Akuma. There really is nothing wrong with actually wanting money. So, you know, but yeah, I'm sure you got your own soul searching to do about it and stuff. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, right? Okay, so last GIF here. We'll do this one. Um, Yeah. Oh, the gold teleport. This is a rad one.
see the crop going on here. Yep, so I'm totally excited to get some of these these new things done. Um, so you're gonna have the player's gonna have a, co a lot of cool new abilities um, that you earn, and I'm wondering if maybe you should actually have the choice of which abilities you train for. So you're gonna actually train with your um, with your spirit guide. He's this guy who starts appearing in the game when you start taking the cactuses. So you eat the cactus, and he appears like on the edge of your vision or whatever. And um, eventually you can find him. There's these places on the overworld where, or, no, they're going to be dungeons. There's going to be three dungeons kind of dedicated to these gaining abilities and turning into sort of this, almost like a dream state. Um, so yeah, in, in each one of those dungeons, you eventually encounter your spirit guide and you fight with him or, or train with him in some way and then you gain an ability. So I'm wondering if maybe... The player should have the choice of which ability they train for. So it's going to be like sort of like a speeding, charging attack where you go really fast forward and you attack at the same time. There's going to be another one where you can charge up your sword and kind of do a stronger attack. Uh, there's going to be um, sort of like an invincibility shield ability, and then also there's going to be uh, a dodge roll. Yeah, so w why is that? Why would choosing something in a proc gen game reduce its playability? Turned him crazy pink again. Hello, bot. See you, bot. Bye, bot. <laughs> you said hi, too. Hi, bot. How you doing today, bot? Which bot are you? How many accounts do you have, bot? It's like in Isaac, if you get to choose combos, then getting those combos isn't as fun. Oh, so it's kind of like a presently. <laughs> you might. Uh, I get it. It's kind of like a. It's kind of like a present. You need to discover it, right? It's what is the game gonna give me this time, right? Cool. All right, we got four, three gifts. Let's get a couple screenshots and we'll be good. Let's save this as is for now. Ah. Okay. Hey, okay, two in a row. What's up, bot? Hey, welcome to the stream. Um, and uh, here's the door. See ya. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> that bot did have a friend. So check out this party. I just got kicked out. Oh. And let's do a couple screenshots.
guess we'll put these ones on imager. Imid, imid, imager, imager. Jeez, it's because we're so friendly. Yes, it is. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no more welcoming the bots. I gotta, I gotta think about the same thing myself because I'm too friendly. Really, I can't. Ah, see now, okay, now it makes total sense to me. If the player has the choice of what item they're obtaining or ability they're building or whatever, it does mean that a person will generally tend to pick the same thing because most people think the same or are going for kind of the same things in each run of the game. So I get you. I get you. I'm, oh, I'm so glad I mentioned this on today's live stream. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Very insightful thoughts, as always, Solar Flare. I love the way you think, man. Gary, Gary what's up? It's me. It's TV's Nate. Yo. <laughs> uh, maybe. Pedro, this is the... You just wrote a backstory for the bots, man. So awesome. Yeah. Jib, thanks, thanks you, thanks Jib. Come party with us. All right, Solar Flare, see you, man. Thanks again. There's a few of these images. Let's see which ones to put up. That one, no. This one could be yes. This one's kind of cool. This one's screen 01. That one's pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. In fact, those first three. If I were to choose any of all these, I probably would pick those first three because they're, that's why I picked them first. Okay. So one, two, and three. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, by the way, hey, if anybody's on Steam, you should totally add me as a friend if you want. If you want to be friends, here's my Steam account. If anybody wants to friend me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is this has kind of been the plan for a long time is having Jib be able to turn into a speaker. So um I yeah, I decided that basically there there's gonna be one of the dungeons where you're um nice. One of the dungeons you're uh you get the guitar, right? The guitar is one of the items, and it's like, you know crucial to solving that dungeon or whatever and then um the other thing is that jib also gets the ability to turn into a speaker inside that dungeon so you get the guitar jib's a speaker and then together you solve that dungeon so I, i'm wondering if he should actually look like a boom box when he changes great person <laughs> Great person. You're nice, right on. Yay. I have friends. Yay. Hey, oh, you're a great person. <laughs> it's such a rad name. What's up with this error occurred? Retrying upload. Oh, there. Dude, this happened to me the other day. I don't know what's up with this. Imager. Let's try this one at a time. One at a time now. Imagers having trouble. Oh, there. See, that one worked. <laughs> What's up, Helm Savage? Savage. <clears throat> it won't let me. It what? 
dude. You got to write them a letter. Wait, so how do I... Oh, it's not signed in. Sign in, man. What? I don't know my username. I know, right? I only have 18 games. I know. You're watching the movie Pixels right now? Cool, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I only buy the ones I really, really like, you know? I got a lot on my wish list, but the ones I really like are the, the 18 I own. Ooh, that's cool. Random chance he becomes a, be a boombox. What's my username? Does anybody know my username? This is probably not it. Hell, let's just link to it. Mm. Yeah, Turnicus, I think there is a group on Steam for it. I did something here about that. Ooh, I thought it was I thought Safari was gonna crash my whole computer again. Boogie! Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that's been my profile picture for a long time, man. I drew it actually back in the end of last year when I when I first started promoting this game and stuff. I, I drew this little picture and stuff. I was actually trying out Twitch. I'm like, hey, is Twitch cool? Can I can I actually do this? But yeah, there is a Steam group already. I just don't I don't think I've populated it yet. There's already the Steam community page. So there's this, there's this. So tell me, is this different than a Steam group, the Steam community? Here's the community page, and I guess, I guess, I guess the group is different than this community thing, right? Keep talking, nobody explodes. Right on, right on. Ah, okay. So I know there is a Steam group. I just gotta like, gotta do something about it, you know? Nice, dude. You got a nice collection here. Beer! Oh, beep. It's, I thought it said beer. Like, cool name. Limbo. Dust Force. FTL. Dota. Man, you got a lot. You have a lot. You have quite the collection here, man. Damn. Oh, is that it? I thought there was a Songbringer one. Uh, Helm Salvage, you can get access to the alpha. Um, if you pre-order the game, so uh, it's kind of been the deal for a while since the since the Kickstarter, right? One of the one of the rewards of the Kickstarter was you got access to the alpha version. So since then, I've always kind of made it attached to a certain value because that was the sixty four dollar level on the Kickstarter. So it's still the sixty four dollar level if you want to pre-order or whatever. But uh, yeah, so it's songbreer.com pre-order. If you do want to pre-order at the sixty four dollar level, you can play the alpha right now. I'll send you your uh, your Steam code or whatever. Uh, but you can also wait. There's the $32 level will be coming out in December or January. Uh, and then that's the, that's the beta version. And then the $16, if you want to pre-order, that gets you the game when it comes out. And that also gets your name on the main menu. So that's an honorary backer and all that. Oh, yeah? I, pretty, I think I did. Uh, okay, so maybe I didn't I didn't fill out the uh... Is there like a song bringer groups 
No, that would be a username, huh? I know I did this. I, okay, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta follow up on that. Ekloff. Yeah, I'll follow up on this. I'll create a group. So what's the what's the advantage of creating a group on Steam versus having a community page, right? Because I we've already got this. I got this community page already for Songbringer. What's the what's the difference really from this community page and a group? So I'm going to go ahead and make a small version of these and then just upload it to my server. So we got screen one, I'll make a small version of this. These are all 1080p so I can get them down to like 690 wide. They'll match those other screenshots. It's a little bit big. That's better. Mm, okay, so it's kind of like a friends list. All right. Okay. Yeah? See, that's what I thought. Like, I was on this some page, and I clicked, yes, I want to create a group, or something like that, for Songbringer. And then, I don't know why I can't find it now. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is it there? Maybe I didn't actually go through all the way with it, or something. I know I clicked it. Oh, here. Is this it? 500 members already in the group. Oh, wait a minute. This is already... This is, this, this is the same thing as the community page. Okay, so maybe it does already... I don't know. I'll have to figure it out later on or something. Let's put some of this in the alternates folder. Screen 01. Small. Screen on two, small. And screen on three small. And we can put them up. Publish. Now these should be wizardfoo.com. Uh, press. Im Songbringer. Images. Uh, Songbringer images. Alternates screen O one small dot JPEG. Cool. All right. All right. Just give me three of those. Oh. Okay. Interesting. 
So I get it. So like I need to have I need to have both things, the group and the the community hub thing. Good enough. That might even be too many screenshots having all three there. But that's that's all right. So next thing, we'll update this text. Oh, really? Okay. All right, so I've got everything updated here on the on this on the website, so I'm just going to copy all this. These are what's being used for the headers, size equals 16 point. It's been good to have all this done. Finally get the uh, Finally get this page updated and dude, so close, so close to having this just all, all kind of put to bed, you know, put to rest so I can freaking focus on making the game again instead of marketing the game all day. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, so game hub, group, kind of the same purpose. Might as well just have one. I like that. I like it when things are simple, easy, clear, you know, clear not only for me, but for people as well. People that are, you know, interested in the game, following the game. There's not two places to follow on, on Steam. There's just one place, you know. I like that. Hey, what's up, PMC? I'm gonna throw these graphics in here too. These are cool. Uh, PMC, I'm working on my final day of marketing for the alpha version tomorrow or the next day, something like that. I'm gonna be doing uh, Starting on new stuff, finally. Starting on just like new abilities for the hero, um, new items, new dungeons, everything just gonna be new. So I definitely need to do some new stuff. I hit a burnout pretty much for this game, for, uh, for you know, all the stuff I've done for the game lately. It's just been constant, repetitive work, you know, like fixing all the bugs, and then doing all the same kind of marketing tasks for pretty much the last, I think, 20 total days or so. 10 for bugs, 10 for the... whatever. Point is, this boy needs some rest. I need some good rest this weekend. I might not even stream this weekend. And then come back next week and just do all this new rad stuff. Here we go, so let's grab... That's Steam Scene 3.
let's get a preview of this going, see what it looks like. Cool. I like it. Let's put these images in too. So we need the image for the Skybot jib. That one's seven. And the next image is procedural one. This thing's theme scene two. Procedural two. And then this open nonlinear has a picture like that. This one's theme scene six. Four. I don't know, I think it's all. Oh, there's one more. The ship. Who could forget the ship? Steam scene five. I love these manual point and click things. Dude, if this is the one thing, man, if I really, if I ever become like wealthy enough from making video games to, to hire someone, the very first person I'm going to hire is somebody to do all this marketing stuff for me. You know, I like, I like being able to create marketing materials. I like communicating with people. You know, I like, I like some parts of marketing, but this part of marketing where you just do like all this like repetitive stuff like this, like I, I wrote the same thing and I'm pasting it in like 10 places on the internet. It takes me a week to do that or something. It's like write a script. I know I could write a script, right? But that doesn't give you that loving attention that a human being does. So it's like every time I'm on one of these websites posting all the new stuff, I get to update it and communicate with people and like, you know, connect and stuff like that. So I just need somebody to really just do that connection. It would be so great to have somebody to be like a community manager or whatever you call that. I don't know. Just somebody that keeps all the pages up to date. That would be rad. Read a really good script. <laughs> what up, JFK? JFK, you just joined the stream. I'm uh, working on the very last day of marketing. I can't take anymore. Been doing it too long. What's up, DuPont?
Welcome, and I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Friday, if it's Friday for you. I know it's not. It's Saturday for some people in the world already. Official website. You've been working on marketing day too? What are you working on? Really? Oh, I hope there is. It might be getting kind of rainy today, actually. Yeah, it, it might rain today. We're up in I'm we're up in northern Cal, so it's like a little a little different here. But so it's pretty. It's essentially the same weather system as Southern Cal. Our storms get blocked or whatever, just as much as uh, Southern Cal and all that. Yeah, what do you, what what game are you marketing though? If only I could put this text where it wasn't as wide, that would be nice. But I don't know if they allow you to do that on here. This is great though. This is really great to have all this text updated. Now I can just kind of like Get rid of all this old text. This is cool, but it's it's just out of date a little bit. I'll keep this last bit though. Cause really this game would be not it was game would be not as cool without all of y'all's feedback, suggestions, comments, ideas, everything. All right, this looks great. Let's save that. Here we go, and we're about yeah, sixty percent finished on this game now. All right, <clears throat> cool. Good to have that updated. Yes. Maybe I should post one more update in here or something. Cool. Right on. Two D iOS game. Brad, what's it about? All right, let's post a little update like, about the Steam page. Is it called Bringer of Songs? <laughs> Yeah, we'll do like a screenshot, I guess, of the store page. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll do that. <laughs> so wishy-washy today. Sing Browder. Music stopper. <laughs> Music stopper. That'd be a funny name for a game. Right, right. Good one, Boogie. 
See, there you go. It's it's open opportunity right there. Oh, wow. So it's kind of like golf? Or are we talking bigger balls? Like basketball? <laughs> Sorcerer go. <laughs> Sorcerer goo. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Good one. Good one. <laughs> so, that'd be so hilarious. I'd be honored if someone ever made a Sorcerer goo steam router. All right, good enough. We got a little post there. Posted, refresh the whole page, bam! Right, how long did that take? Hour, it took an hour just to do that little thing, but worth it, right? Every little bit's worth it. Okay, yes, oh man, done with that one. There's only one more website to update. And that is IndieDB. Oh no. Oh there. I'm telling you, Safari is having major issues with El Capitan. It hangs all the time. It's crashed my computer twice since I, I never should have updated to El Capitan so early. Always gotta wait for version 0.01. You know what I mean? IndieDB game songbringer. Let's get this thing updated. Cool, right on. Blueprints are a sweet, sweet design start point. Oh, right. You couldn't admit the shame in doing this, right? Am I anti-Chrome? No, I'm not. I guess I'm just, I kind of, I like, for a while I was using Chrome only for when I did web work. This is but like very early days of making Songbringer. I was still kind of doing some web work to try and survive financially. And uh, I would always do my work in Chrome and then my play and stuff in Safari. So I've just kind of kept that for a while. I've always kind of been doing my game and stuff here in Safari. And I've kind of kept Chrome only for like uh, for work stuff, because Chrome's better for its inspect elements, you know? If I want to inspect an element in um, in Safari, it just kind of sucks, you know? It just, it doesn't really do as good of a job. Chrome is just much better at that, in my opinion. All right, so what to do to update this one? I like the, there's the quotes. I'm gonna keep this one really simple. I'm gonna just do look like it is right now. I'm gonna just do like two, two lines or whatever. Don't crash, Safari. Don't crash. Ah. Uh. Hmm. 
Look at that, it's still in the top thousand on NDBB, even though I don't really post much here. Nice. Top 1,000. Oh, yeah. Roguelike? I guess that's kind of the closest thing. You could say adventure, but it's not really just an adventure game. It's an action. I guess it might be hack and slash. Is hack and slash a better term for this game than roguelike? I guess, yeah. I think hack and slash is. Oh, awesome. Research. I hear you. Research. Research phase. Wrestling. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, screw it. Let's just call it wrestling. Uh, I think you're right there, Chain Revenge, right? The the um, the um most accurate way to determine, to say a roguelike is it's turn-based, right? And it's almost always permadeath, right? Yeah, probably I should put hack and slash here. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we got a we got a um a newer description here. A newer short description. Let's get it from this uh, Steam description. Oh wait, I did it another one. Yeah, we'll do this one. Oh uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Spending a little time on marketing is is really, really important. Especially for indie indie game developers, man. I mean, I say this all the time, but that was my biggest mistake with our last video game, is that we just, we didn't spend any time marketing. Um, because we thought that we could hire out the marketing at the very end. We were like, all right, yeah, no problem, no problem. We don't have a following built or anything. I didn't even realize that we hadn't built a following the whole time. We spent a whole year and a half, a buddy and I made a game together, and, um, we didn't even know because we thought we, you know, we thought that we would just hire a company and the company would do everything for us. But little did we know, that's not really how the world works. You can't just kind of like bolt on some marketing at the very end of your game and then hope that it will sell well, especially with the multiplayer free to play game. So you got to do marketing on your own. Oh, how many copies did we sell? We, we didn't sell any because it's a free to play game. Um, as far as making money goes, though, we had we got a few different. Uh, here, let me give you the link. It's Hero Bash. Um, yeah, so we we I think to this day the game still makes like twenty dollars a month or something like that, which is like barely enough to even pay for the server. So yeah, so that's what I'm saying. If you're an indie game developer, what's up, professional Lavis? What's up, man? If you're an indie game developer, do do a little, at least build a following every day. You can build a following really easily. Just share screenshots, share anything about your game on a daily basis. And you'll eventually build a following on it. Yeah, yeah, this looks okay. Let's, let's see if this is the right video. This might be the wrong video link right here. Uh, here it is. Alpha gameplay trailer. PGH. Oh yeah, I got the new one. Cool. That's nice. Okay, I think that's good. Explore millions of worlds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Let's save this. 
You played it? Nice, right on. Hero Bash, yeah. My friend did all the art and the design for that game, and I did the programming and the music, and yep. Taught me a lot of good lessons, a lot of good lessons. Okay, let's check this out now. Got this little header image thing, which is maybe necessary, maybe not. I don't know. Got a link to the Steam page, Kickstarter. Some quotes, the gameplay trailer. Yeah, it's only iOS. And so if I ever go back and revisit that game, that'll be the first thing I change is I'll, I'm going to re, I would remake it for Steam, first of all, you know, I think we kind of made a poor decision as far as what, what platform to target at first. And it, we, we wrote it with Coco Studio X, so it's ready to go. I could, I could literally publish it to other platforms right now. It's just a lot of work because it's such a, it's a lot of code. It's a hell, it's like 50,000 lines of C++ code and there's a there would be a hell of a lot. It probably take me 6 months just to be able to like get it on more platforms. So Nice. Oh man, that's cool that you you would even say that my game is big. That's freaking awesome because it's you know, in my opinion it's not really not yet, but maybe it will be big it, once it releases or whatever. But thank you, man. And I, that's, you know, I, I guess that's why I'm here, right? This is why I'm doing these live streams is I want other people to be able to also make high quality, awesome games. You know, I really want to empower you guys to be whatever you want to be. If you want to, so if, and especially game developers, because that's kind of what I'm doing, right? So it's like, I can easily share with y'all whatever tips I might have. But yeah, I want to elevate the whole, the whole... All of us. I want all of us to be elevated in what we, the quality of what we create and the results we can also get with our creations in life too. So I hope that what I'm doing here helps you guys. How will I stop pirating? I'm not even going to try. Um, I, I don't think, I think it's kind of fruitless effort to try and stop pirating. It's going to happen anyways. You know, I think I think one cool way to try and stop pirating, I guess, is just to be a cool guy. And when people realize that, you know, you're like, it's a it's single developer, whatever, making this video game. Um, maybe that will stop pirating. It's a, it's cheap anyways, 15 bucks for a game. Yeah, professional office, of course, man. Post a link, please, please. Nice, right on. Cool, I'm glad it inspired you. Shane Revenge, what are, are you talking about? This game, Songbringer? Or are you talking about that last game, Hero Bash? Oh, I guess they're the same. They're both made in Coco Studio X. They're both C++. Yeah, yeah, right? Boogie. DRM only hurts the honest people. Yeah, totally. I agree. Definitely not worth that, worth the time. All right, so let's do a new article. Yeah, yeah, it's Coco Studio X C++. This was my last post when I did the Kickstarter. I really got it. I thought I did a newer one. Maybe this was just the popular one or whatever. Oh, I should post a new video too. You can post your own videos. You can upload from like, from a YouTube URL. Here we go. So I can share this on, this is, I love this video. This video is really rad. This new alpha gameplay trailer thing. Let's give it that same text description. Save that. Yeah, <laughs> really? Such a good example, right? This is a, this is the smart developer here. He actually helped people pirate his game because his 
the version that uh, the version that got pirated sucked. Oh, this is a great idea. I'm gonna whitelist these guys. I forgot about this. I forgot I had microblock. Microblock settings. Oh, here we go. Whitelist. Here we go. Whitelist. Here we go. Okay, now let's just refresh here. Yay, cool, we have ads again. Nice. Uh, dude, I definitely want to support IndieDB. This is so great. I mean, it's a great website to be able to do so much for your game. Okay, so if I post an update, Where'd I go to do that? Articles, here we go. Yeah, let's post an update. So I guess the last one I did was a freaking Kickstarter. I really gotta write more posts and stuff on NDDB. Okay, let's do one. Post article. Oh, it's really helpful to see old articles because I've messed up so many times writing articles on here. They have some, they have some strong guidelines on what what will get published or whatever on their their front page? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mishrara, definitely. It's not that I like the ad. I just like that I'm supporting NEDB. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right, so we need a 1024 by 768 image for I I got one already. I know you know what? I I know I did a, an update more recent. I thought I did. I guess the last one was the Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh huh. A menu for a car diagnostic app. Dude, it looks awesome. Literally, completely legit. I love it. Okay, so one piece of feedback I would actually give is maybe, if anything, the text might be a little bit too not bright enough. Like, I think you might actually be using pure white for your text, but it's so thin and it's, it's, it's font or whatever that you can't really see it that clearly. So I don't know, either use brighter, brighter text or maybe slightly more font weight. That's my only recommendation because it looks great. It looks really friendly and really, really 2015, you know? Good job, professional novice. Oh, is that how it works, Pedro? Thank you. You just click on and off once and it does that? That's awesome, I'll remember that. That's a good question, Boogie. It totally depends on the ad network, I think. Yeah. Wow. Oh, really? Game Dev Tycoon, that's right. I, I downloaded a demo for that. Cool, awesome. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I guess I'll have to make a new graph for this. So uh, let's close these. Wait, these might be. Mm. Yeah, 
that. We don't need these email open anymore. I do want open the sprites backgrounds cartridge two. What? Whoa. Uh, the ratio for this is 1.3333, so that's 1024 by 768, and the width of this image is 205 pixels, it's 205 times 1.3333, 273, so many pixels tall, it's going to be, I'm rhyming today, I'm rhyming, we have a rhyming day guys, oh I did it wrong, no it's 205, the other way around, 1.33, that's just 3 fourths. 0.75 times 205. That can't be right, can it? 153? Right? This is 205. Oh, yeah. 205 by 153. Okay, that's fine. That works. There. Pretty. Copy merged. Nice. <laughs> Nothing rhymes with rhymes. Is that true? Times? Oh. Oh, you tried me. You can't give me that easy, Woogie. Yeah. All right, so now we can have a little header image ready. Whenever I want to post the NDDB new article or whatever 1024 by app ah, see that one pixel short and I'll put this in here in DDB news what are we calling this Preview image. News is fine, whatever. Indie. Hey, I thought that was in here. What? What? I just put it there. Oh, this tripped me out. I just exported it twice. It's not showing up. Maybe it's oh, it was sorted by something else. DB News. There. Ah. News. Yes. Subject. Let's do it like this. Songbringer, a procedurally generated Zelda-like game. Uh, the alpha version of Songbringer, a procedurally generated Zelda-like game. 
has been released. Good enough. All right, once again, I gotta do at least enough images. What, that's one thing about these little posts. You gotta put a lot of images on here. Music Stoppler. <laughs> I think I'm going to cheat here. Just kind of copy this stuff I posted from, from here. Yeah, this is good. Here, blah, 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 blah. One of these pages is it? Songbringers Alpha version has been released. Uh, what? What? Kids love their gifts. Kids gotta love the gifts. Budding. I just like saying the word bud or buds. Palefish, oh! Affid didn't. Any chance to watch previous vids? What you mean? Do you want to? You want the link? Here you go. How do you do a YouTube? Oh, I can just paste the embed code for this. Let's see if this uh, Alpha Gameplay Trailers thing. Yeah, I think this will work. Let's uh, share it. Is there a way to share? How do I share? NDDB. How do I share? How do I share you? And media, no. Uh. Oh, 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 share, there it is. Oh, damn, sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> so many pale fishes today. Damn. Damn. Is that, is that what you want? Is this what you want? Is this what you want, NDDB? Huh? Is this what you wanted? This? Let's, let's see if we can do a header thing. Huh? Header? H1, H2, any of these H's? Oh, we got some H's. Let's do an H2. Okay. 
Weep. Weep. Oh, yes! A new one! OS Sloth! By the way, I watched the BC Warrior video you guys sent the other day. That was so great. Ooh, BC Warrior! Yeah! Looking good. Looking good. And Steam Community, too? Community hub, copy link. Look at this, we're flying with this thing, man. Whoops, wait. Dang! Uh, oh! Uh, so close, so close. I learned a cool trick. You can actually copy these. Just control C, control V. Permadeath mode playthrough. Nice, man. Is it a cool deal you got going with the, are you like making it for a company or something or, or is this your own thing or what? Here's that permadeath mode play. If anybody hasn't seen this, this is, I don't know, I guess it's kind of funny to watch cause I die. <laughs> All right, yeah, permadeath mode playthrough. Just link it, link straight to it. And we need a lot of images. Images are really important here on, on this whole, on these updates. All right, JFK, see you, man. Oh, you're on mobile. Oh, no wonder. Uh, I see DuPont, ah. Uh, cool, right on. Your debut project, man, it looks good. For a day, I would have said you were you were not a debut type of level or whatever. It looked good. That's what I'm saying. It's like a pro, a pro look, man. You got some good design skills. Let's do. Let's call this uh, Steam Codes. Ah, right, yeah. Nice, man. I would have said you had some kind of background or something in it. Good for you. Does this work? We want to edit this link. This is not what we want. This guy, edit slash insert slash take away that filter thing. Songbringer pre-order. Do like a what's next or whatever. Live on Twitch. Fix that link. We are almost done. Almost done. Oh my God. I'm so stoked to finally have every one of these websites all up to date. All my indie game marketing is almost finished for this alpha version. 
It's been a long, at least 10 days of marketing. So I'm glad, I'm really glad. Let's do some screenshots. Screen. Nice. Yeah, good night, man. Okay, uh, if I were to put an image in here and I want it to be small, dimensions, oh cool, it constrains dimensions, very nice. I want to, uh, I want to link to all these images straight from my, from here. There's one. Let's make them small, 420 by 240. It might be a little bit too big actually for these. God is sleeping right now. Whoa. Does he snore? Can we do percentages here? 420, 420. I love, I personally love cannabis myself, but it makes me really, really dumb. Maybe we'll do 120 by 210. Yeah, I become like, I can't code very well. And then I also get, I kind of don't know what to say, so I get, I get more quiet. A lot of, a lot of bad things happen when I take the marijuana. But I think I'm learning that you don't necessarily need to have the actual substance of weed or whatever smoked to be able to be just as high, just as creative, just as elated. Just as insightful, you know. You can get that without without the substance. Next screenshot. I hope these get put um, in like a. What's which one's next? Maybe this one's pretty good. Actually, I like, I like this one. Copy this link. Mm -hmm. Damn, I wanted these to be, oh well. Let's make it bigger. Wait, what if I don't even put a dimension? There, okay, that's better. Now I can put like a a new line in between each one maybe. Yeah, there, that's cool. Okay, let's do six or seven images.
Here's guns good. It's good as good. Uh, yeah. What's next? Which one should be the next screenshot? Maybe this one? It's kind of cool. Got me think. And I'm liking this one's always a cool shot. It just kind of says adventure. Tesla's autopilot? What? Really? Do they do they actually have autopilot already? No way. Tell me, does it work? What kind of science fiction world are we living in already? It's amazing. It really is. I'm freaking excited to be alive. All the rad technology and stuff. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be funny? I'm sorry, repping Tesla or whatever. <laughs> uh, this one's cool. This is kind of a mayhem shot. Mayhem shot. Bam. Is this better than Google's? Good question. Hey, what's up, PP Live? De? Thanks, man. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Today's a marketing day, so you're not really seeing me play the game or work on the game at all, and it's it's been too many of those kind of days. So finally, next Monday, I'm thinking, will be when I start. I might start this weekend. But I probably need some rest. So, uh, but yeah, next Monday I'll finally be working on the game again. I'm gonna start with some new abilities and stuff for the hero. Okay, let's check this out. Preview it. Yeah, tell me it looks good. Great, we've got the alpha gameplay trailer. What's the um? On Steam, let's put that there. It's the preview Steam page. The Steam page is now up, and it's also a budding Steam community. Playthrough. Here's a 10 minute permadeath mode playthrough. Uh huh. Steam codes, backers, and this is pre ordered. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Catch some development. Here's a few screenshots. Save article. I hope they post it on there. So here's the thing about IndieDB. You got to really follow their guidelines for when you post um, when you post news articles because they they will definitely not post to their their, their home page if you don't follow their guidelines. But if you do, there's a chance they will. So it's kind of like follow their guidelines and hope you get hope that they link to your article on their front page. Hey, what's up, Pete Wally? Spymore, yo, what's up, Spymore? I haven't seen you on here in a minute. Hope you're doing good. Holy crap. Incremental introduction. I like that, that's cool. If we're gonna have cars that drive themselves, Let's do it baby steps at first, right? Forward radar, forward looking camera, 12 long range ultrasonic sensors. Hold on a sec, my, my page is going crazy here. Wow. I 
kind of want to see a video of it, right? <laughs> so awesome. All right, so, okay, so let me recap what's been done today, and that's pretty much it for today's video. And thankfully, that's it for the marketing. So um, if anybody's, you know, just following, I know, right, Six, only 16 feet. I hope you only need that one part of it for 16 feet. Um, but basically, the big news is uh, I got this alpha version. Really, if you're if you're joining this, going, what the heck is this? This game is called Songbringer. It's a procedurally generated Zelda-like game. It's coming out on Steam. Uh, so basically, I got the, a lot of the marketing done because the alpha version got released last week. So finally got the alpha version done. Recorded this new video. I love this new video. Um, and then I got this Steam page going. So this is, uh, if anybody wants the link, here's the link to the Steam page. Um, so that's cool. That's done. You can call that one. Boop, boop. Done. Uh, and then there's a community page too. That's awesome. Glad that's all started. Um, the website's been updated. So songbringer.com itself is looking a lot more pro, um, and just kind of friendlier and stuff. Uh, I just updated IndieDB. Wait, I'm pretty sure all this red text I've read a million times before. It's all, yeah, it's fine. So I'm crossing my fingers that IndieDB will actually release this. You never know if they're going to release it on their homepage or not. So that's done. Um, IndieDB done, done. I got my press kit updated. So if you guys are, if you're an indie developer, you got to have a press kit for your game. You can get one at dopresskit.com or just write your own. Um, but that's it. Yeah, I got the oh, I got the TIG source page updated today. So basically, yes, this is it. All the marketing's done. Oh, finally I'm free from the. There's no more monkeys on my back. I can just focus on making the game. Yes. Oh my God. So freeing. I feel so good right now. Yeah. I can clean stuff off my desktop and just get started completely new next week. So see you in one week then. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow. I might stream a little this weekend and then for sure on Monday I'll be streaming and I will be starting new abilities, new items, new cool stuff in the game so yeah that's it for today's stream and thank you all for watching thanks so again always for your uh thanks for making me laugh mostly cheers you guys so um i'll be back uh yeah maybe tomorrow definitely monday so thanks again you guys